Okay, welcome back to Bounce Around Charleston, the National Museum of African American History and Culture bus trip to Washington, D.C. Mm, you need to go on this trip. <laughs> well, Reverend Michael Allen is here to tell us all about the trip. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. And thank you for having me again, sir. Well, now, I'm so accustomed <laughs> to seeing you with the National Park Association, but now I understand you're retired. Uh, yes, sir, I am. After 37 and a half years, so now I can dedicate my life and my community to doing more things, not only for the kingdom, but for folks of the low country. And now you want to take us to the African American Museum. Yes, sir. Tell I, us all about the trip. Well, thank you. I've been fortunate enough to visit it twice, mm -hmm. and I knew I needed to take others with me. Okay. So on Tuesday, June the 12th, we will be leaving North Charleston from Christ Temple Church on Sumner Avenue, mm -hmm. heading up to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And the highlight of our trip on Wednesday the 13th will be to visit the National African American Museum, which okay. is a very wonderful place to visit, sir. Okay, so who can attend this trip? It's open for the public. That's why I'm with you now. The public. The public. You want everybody to go. Get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, tell me something. You said you've been there twice. Yes, sir. So when you went there, what did you learn? What did you get? Well, I saw Mount Pleasant. I saw downtown Charleston. I saw Johns Island. I saw James Island Incorporated and South Carolina Incorporated in the museum. In the museum. Talking about the history and culture, not only of American and African experience, but zeroing in specifically on the legacy and the contributions that was made by people of color here in the low country. Here in the low country. In the low country, yes, sir. So when individuals go to the museum with you, what do you want them to walk away with? Well, I want them to understand their legacy, their history, in their part in the determination of our American experience. Mm -hmm. And that we live in a very rich cultural community. Mm -hmm. And those who designed the National African American Museum saw fit that physical items of, of Mr. Philip Simmons, or mm -hmm. Mary Jackson, the yes. basket maker, or the uh, slave cabin from Edisto Island, are there Esau physically. Esau Jenkins. Esau Jenkins, uh, the back mm -hmm. of his bus. Mm -hmm. All there physically inside of that building, sir. Wow. Well, I think it's a wonderful, I've been there, and it's a wonderful place to visit, but, and it takes you some time to walk through there. Yes, it does. That's why we're dedicating an entire day just to sit and to lounge and to not only soak up the history, but just to meet people from there from around the world and around the country. And they have a very wonderful uh, restaurant with inside of the building, mm -hmm. which also you can taste foods of the low country as well. Okay, now, being that you work with the National Park Association and dealing with stuff at Fort Moutry, because mm -hmm. I remember you talking about where the slave ships right. came in at the fort. So you can really appreciate this kind of a place, am I correct? I can because many of the works that are there in that place physically were things I've done here in the low country. So I, I felt good seeing work that I may have done here in Charleston that's now being highlighted on a national scale. And I would also ask, in addition to going to the National Outback Museum while we're in D.C., we have some other bonuses. Mm -hmm. We are going to the new Bible Museum. Mm -hmm. which just opened this past January. And it's a way of opening up the Old and New Testament that you can walk through this museum to have to learn more uh, about that. We will be visiting the other traditional historic sites uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, the new um, MLK statue, uh, the Capitol, and other places. So this is an encompassing trip that will allow you to go and visit and experience our nation's capital. So it's one day. No, we're actually leaving on Tuesday okay. and coming back on Friday. Oh, oh wow. Yes, That's yes. A we, we, we will see it all, sir. And, and so the cost of this trip? The cost, we, we made it very economical. Um, if there are four individuals in one room, each person will have to pay $300 a piece. Mm -hmm. That covers the bus trip, it covers the hotel accommodations, and complimentary breakfast each morning. If you desire to have only two persons in the room, you and one other person, it's $400 per person with two people in a room. And so you, you can't go to Washington, D.C. for that. Okay, and we're going to tell them how to get all this information. The National Museum of African American History and Culture bus trip to Washington, D.C. It departs on Tuesday, June 12th through Friday, June 15th. And for more information about reservations, contact Michael Allen, 843-696-9558. Or email, what's that email? That says um, CT King Kingdom Church 
at gmail.com. Well, you heard it right here. <laughs> Tara Super at 843-437-1662 or email ctc1309 at comcast.net. Thank you, Reverend Michael Allen, for being here. I'll bounce around Charleston. All right, thank you very much. That's a wonderful trip. Okay, coming up next, Colson Whitehead will be here.